And Prathea Hall, in a prayer meeting that she had, uh, people really don't give her the just due that she deserves. But she was a woman of prayer and believed that the church should be a house of prayer. And so during one of her prayer meetings, as they were praying for how do we work together, because one thing that's sometimes not highlighted about the civil rights era is that it wasn't only the black race that was a part of making systemic change in our country. It was actually all races that came together as allies to work through injustices and things that were not right. And so as the heart of the movement was being prayed out, as she was praying, all of a sudden she kept saying these words over and over again. She kept saying, I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. In a sense, she was praying those things from heaven. This took place in Terrell, Georgia, in a rural county in the deep south. But significantly about that prayer meeting is that a gentleman by the name of Dr. Martin Luther King was at that prayer meeting. And he is known today, one of his famous speeches is, I have a dream. And in that speech of I have a dream in Washington in August of 1963, a hundred years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation, Dr. King gave a summary of the progress that had been realized in the last 100 years, and he began to call out the long history of racial injustice in America and encouraged everyone, red, yellow, black, and white, who were in attendance, to hold their country accountable to its founding promises of freedom, justice, and equality. And in order to bring true justice, Dr. King said in his speech, Americans of all races will need to unite and remain true to the values of nonviolent solidarity. Dr. King then invoked the dream that he has for America. He said a dream that one day the country will live out the true meaning of its creed. And it will make it a reality that all men are created equal. He dreams that his children will one day live in a society where they will be judged not by the color of their skin, but the content of their character, and that in the future, black and white children will join hands as sisters and brothers. And so Dr. King continued to urge the listeners to take their faith. He employed them by their faith and what they believed in the Word of God to take it back home and create meaningful change and understand that together we will struggle. Together we may face incarceration, but it's together that we all need to stand in unity for freedom in order to make America truly a great nation. And so we have to understand that before it was ever Dr. King's dream, it was Sister Prathea's prayer. But before it was ever Sister Prathea's prayer, it is and has always been the heart of God for us to be in unity one with another. And for our communities to know the heart of God, we need to make a decision that we will have it displayed within our own local context. 